Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about material library and all the benefits you can uh, get from using the material library. So as a starter let me create a dummy material and generally we start with steel and let me define some of the attributes so the new modulus, uh, the position ratio and the density. What does uh, Saving a material in the material library means it's basically you just right click on your material, library, save. And here you're asking to save your material into your database. So here I can click on save. And now let me delete it. And if I want to load at any time, I can load by ID or by name. Uh, if I have the name, I can filter and say, okay, let me look at steel, and here's my material. Okay, so I get it. And not only I get it for this session, but if I open any fresh new session, um, okay, this one, it's purely empty, just one card. But if I go to library, load, by name, doing the same, so steel. Can find your steel material and you can load it okay there was a card so it was a myth but so my session was not completely clean so for the sake of the demonstration let me do it again select library load by name and filter on the name steel okay and here it is and you have your material with uh, your attributes so now coming back to this model, what if uh, the, so the, some of the general question you can have is, okay, but what if I need to work with uh, materials in different unit system? One way to do it, so let me go to library, delete this item, so let me delete this still. One way that we recommend is to um, define a suffix. Uh, Sometimes some users use S1 and S3 and S2, S3, depending on the different target unit system. It could be also minimet, um, for instance, or whatever, just a matter to distinguish. And then you can um, library uh, save this material. Uh, by the way, it has, the name has, here has not been changed. So let me create it again from scratch. So create a steel millimeter uh, on megagram. And take the value one, value two, value three. And then I can uh, right click, library, save. And here I have this one, and I could do the same with uh, the material steel uh, millimeter milliscount gram so I don't have the attributes by earth so just let me define random value here uh, sorry if I'm mistaken but just just for the sake of the presentation and here you can say okay I want to save it in the library uh, save which means that now, if you go back to library, load uh, by name, at any moment, if you filter with steel, you can find your different material. And you could also, in the opposite way, you could, so you could say, okay, what if I have, I want to look at all my material, which contains a millimeter, and uh, make a gram and here you see it by units so here's how we can proceed if you're dealing with a multiple unit system the other point is what if so let me delete this one uh, what if you uh, are working uh, not anymore in OptiStruct profile but in another profile for instance radios and here I do not want an, el an elastic material which is what I get if I do a, just a conversion. So let me create a material which will be still millimeter second 
the mega crab, which will be a low 36, for instance, uh, which is a tabulated low. Um, let me define the attributes. Operation coefficient. Uh, I could define, for instance, uh, max uh, strain before failure, and I will define my yield curve. My click created it, uh, and for this curve, I want this one, I don't need it anymore. Uh, for this one, I will create my different points, so 400 and rotate one, and let's say 420. And the rotor two and four hundred fifteen and ah four hundred twenty five sorry and then uh, the row twenty five and four hundred twenty seven okay uh, just for the sake of giving few points and let me close so now if I go to my attributes I have all my information and I can library right click library save and you see that within the same category here but for the radius profile i will be able to save my material so basically i can do save which means that now if i need to convert uh, my material the only thing that i need to do so let me go back to solver interface of destruct i do not need to uh, take care of the conversion for the material. The only thing that I need to do is to right click library load um, by name. So let me take my steel. Okay, so I will have the proper value, but as we are in elastic, we do not see the difference. Let me go back to uh, Optistruct uh, Silver Interface. Uh, let me go back to Radius, sorry. So this is my material, which is converted in Elastic Law. And what I just need to do is library load by name and to select my material. OK. And here you see that my material has been updated. What is nice uh, regarding the material library is that uh, I just changed the model and took another model. Here, let's say you have multiple materials in your model and you need to convert. Uh, you just need to go to solver interface, radius. Uh, you see that by default, everyone is uh, set with elastic material. You just need to select all materials at once. Right click library, load by name. All of materials of interest will be checked. And uh, then you can click on OK and your material will, you will be updated um, with the proper material type and the correct attribute data. So uh, really this is something that will help you to save a lot of time. Uh, it can even save you further time if you work with both the material library and the part browser, which is something I dedicate to a second video. Uh, just a few words to complete if you right click library libraries you will see the local location of your library on your computer. So this is something which is local by default. So on your computer, if you want to share it, you can set some shared library across multiple computers. For this, you need an extra installation, which you can retrieve from Altair One, which is this desktop SQL, which is basically a database, and you have all the information, all the instruction to install and to configure it. So hope it uh, gives you a better hindsight about uh, what my tail library is allowing. Thanks for reviewing.